People who rob pharmacies could now spend more time in jail. That's under a new law that went into effect just days ago in Tennessee. Elizabeth Kubel spoke to police, prosecutors, also pharmacists today who think the change was made in response to the area's growing problem with prescription drug abuse. Josh, before the start of this year, a criminal who robbed a pharmacy faced the same possible sentence as one who robbed any other business. But now, a judge can impose a stiffer sentence on robbers who target pharmacies. Barry Walton's Kingsport Pharmacy has only been robbed once since it opened in 1989. But he says some other shops aren't as lucky. There are um, several pharmacies in, in our region that have had multiple robberies. It's a crime Kingsport Police Department officers know well. KPD worked four pharmacy robberies in 2016. A prescription medication has, has easily surpassed every other uh, drug that we deal with here in Kingsport. We are supportive of anything that helps discourage uh, folks from robbing pharmacies. And a new Tennessee law aims to do just that. As of January 1st, a judge can use robbing a pharmacy as a factor to make a defendant's sentence longer. I think the, the legislature was looking for something else, a way to protect pharmacists who are standing in harm's way, unfortunately. The biggest issue with pharmacy robberies is the people committing these crimes are not always thinking clearly when they commit them. But Patton and Harper are both hopeful. The change makes would-be robbers think twice. The fact that defendants would be so, could potentially be serving longer sentences, hopefully that has some sort of deferent deterrent effect. So drugs stay in the right hands and pharmacists like Walton stay safe. Elizabeth Kubel, News Channel 11 in your corner.